guys, it's Ashley, and welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you guys are new. If you guys can't tell, I am so ready for the spooky season. Like, I'm I'm living right now. This is, this is my time, and I love it. I'm so excited. <laughs> I wanted to come on here and bring you guys my October TBR. I have not made a TBR video in I don't know how long. Part of me didn't want to make any this year because I felt like I was pressuring myself by making, making TBR videos, but then I also started feeling like I wasn't reading enough because I wasn't making TBRs. So I felt like the end of the year, the holiday season, was the best time to make some TBR videos and kind of stay accountable for myself. It is the end of the year. I haven't quite hit my reading goals this year, so hopefully we'll do it in these next three months. We'll see. But let's go ahead and jump into this October TBR. Okay, so the first book I want to talk about is actually a series that I plan on reading. And I will put the picture up here. It is a novella series. This is the Boo and Booze series. Um, but someone was talking about this last year. And it's just a group of novellas. They're all like cute little spooky romance stories. And it sounded very interesting to me. They're all super short. I think book one is only like 78 pages. I love romance. I love Halloween. Why not combine the two and read some cute little short stories? And it'll help me boost up, you know, my reading goal just a little bit. <laughs> but I am super excited about these. They look super cute. I love the covers and I cannot wait to get to them. Hopefully I can get to all six in the series since they all are short, but we'll see how far I get in those. Okay, the next book is also a part of a series that I started a few years ago, and I'm really enjoying this series. And this is Some Enchanted Eclair, and this is by Bailey Cates. This is a cozy mystery book. This is the a Magical Bakery Mystery series. I love this series. It is super cute. It is a cozy mystery, so it is a mis mis blah. It's a cozy mystery, so it is a mystery book, but without like the suspense and all of that stuff. So this book is about a girl named Katie, and she ends up moving to Savannah, Georgia, where her aunt and her uncle live, and she finds out that her aunt is a witch, and that she is also a witch, and she joins her aunt's coven, and all these things start to happen in Savannah, Georgia near them. Again, they are cozy mysteries. I love these. I believe this is book five or four I can't remember exactly but I really really enjoy this series it is super cute and yeah I can't wait to pick this one up okay the next book that I want to pick up I have been adding this to my October TBR for years now probably like three or four years I've been adding this book to my TBR and I have yet to read it but I am hoping, fingers crossed, that I will get to it this year. That is A Discovery of Witches, and this is by Deborah Harkness. This is just a witchy story. I think there's vampires and werewolves and all these things in this book. I don't know exactly everything about it, but I have heard people rave about this. I think the first person I saw talk about this book was Sasha Alsberg, and she raved about this book. Now they have a TV show. It is a whole trilogy. I just need to get to this book and read it. I really do feel like I would enjoy it. I just gotta, I just gotta start it and I gotta, I gotta read it. I even have a bookmark in here, but I, I, I haven't read it yet. So hopefully, fingers crossed, I will get to it this year and finish it and love it. Yes. Okay, the next book is also a book in a series. It's like a theme here, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> But this is book two in a series, and book one I absolutely loved. I ate it up. It was amazing. I couldn't put it down. I haven't heard the best reviews about this one, but hopefully I will enjoy this one too. And that is Blood and Honey, and this is by Shelby Mahurin. This is book two in the trilogy. I actually just got book three, so I'm hoping I can get through book two to get to book three and finish the series. But this series is about a witch and a witch hunter who end up having to get married. Um, and the husband, who is the witch hunter, doesn't know that his wife is a witch. And all these things happen. And I absolutely loved the first book. The first book is Serpent and Dove. I don't know if I said that. But I loved that book so much. And I haven't heard the best things about book two, which is really disappointing because I loved book one so much. 
but hopefully I will still enjoy it. You know, I, I do listen to people's reviews, but I also like to have my own opinion. So we'll see how much I love this one or if I like it, but I'm, I'm really, really hoping I do. I also am obsessed with the covers of these books. I think they are absolutely beautiful, but hopefully this one's good. <laughs> Okay, and the last two books that I wanted to show you go together. I'm super excited about reading these. I don't think I've ever actually read these, but I've seen the movies of these, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> um, but these are It's a Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown, and The Great Pumpkin Returns. I am so excited about reading these. I love Charlie Brown. I love Charlie Brown Christmas. I love It's a Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown, and I can't wait to read these stories. I think these books are absolutely gorgeous. Like, the quality is so nice. I mean, I picked them up from Walmart for like $7, but I was so excited that they had these. I was kind of trying to go for like a Charlie Brown theme in my house this year for Halloween, so seeing these was just perfect. I had to pick them up and I cannot wait to read them. And these are just quick short reads that you can do within like 30 minutes. So that's two books off of your, you know, reading goals. So I am so, so excited about reading these. I cannot wait to get to them. Okay guys, so that is everything on my TBR for the month of October. If I can get through these, there are some other books that I am interested in, but I can wait on those. But we'll see if I actually get to them. Um, but I am so excited. I'm so glad I am filming this video. I feel like it's going to make me a little more accountable for my reading and to actually read. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have read any of these books, please let me know down below what you guys thought of them. I can't wait to get to them. I'm super excited about them. I feel like it's a pretty good TBR for the month and it's not too long so I feel like I can get through these. But again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe down below and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys!